on camera in the studio with the amazing Lily Hayden, instrumentalist, vocalist, recording artist, composer, film composer, all of the above. Lily, you obviously came to music pretty earlier in your in your journey, but if you didn't do music, what would have been that an alternative path of your life? Well, let me just speak to the early on musical. Um, my mom used to, my mom, comedian Lotus Weinstock, used to say that I learned to play violin in the womb, and it was very irritating. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I was always interested in social justice. Yeah. Fairness means so much to me, and it's really kind of the thing that gets me going the most. Uh, and I was going to be a human rights lawyer, and until I realized that the incremental change that I m might have been able to affect, uh, but that was not going to, you know, it, it wasn't... Uh, that, that I could affect more change, at least for me, by by moving somebody with music. Um, so, uh, but but human rights law or some kind of uh, social justice work, um, and I still do. A, I do a lot of benefits, and I've worked with Human Rights Watch and ACLU, and um, and I I'm an activist. So, um, some kind of fairness advocacy. Great. And you've played with so many incredible artists, and you know you've done film scores, as you mentioned in the interview. You know you worked with you know Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, Parliament of Funkadelic, I mean all these other incredible iconic artists. Is there a dream collaboration? Is there somebody that you have never played with with whom you would like to play? People have asked me that um, a, a, a lot over the years, and my answer was always Prince. Uh. So I'm kind of sad. That uh, well, obviously we're you know what a great loss. I mean, but when you ask me that, it makes me a little bit sad because I still, that's somebody that I really I, I haven't moved on yet. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, of course anybody. I mean, and, and and naturally the 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 gift of getting to be more successful is that you get to you get to collaborate with more people. So. Uh, you know, I get to, I've gotten to work with Hans Zimmer, and when Hans decides he wants to work with somebody, he just picks up the phone, you know. <laughs> and so I would like to be in that position. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but I'd like, I almost got to work with Paul McCartney. I was out of town when I, when David Kahn called me for it. <clears throat> um, um, that would, that would be fun. That would be fun. I could do that. That um, would be fun. Cool, cool. Well, Lily Hayden, so interesting to get to talk to you, and uh, I really appreciate the, f uh, the fact that you could talk about the different areas of what you do, and I think, you know, your path is a very fascinating one, and, you know, you've, you've got a lot, of, a lot of things to do in your future, so... Oh, thank we, you, thank you. Thank you for being our guest on. Can I just go back to your last question? Well, yeah. Collaborators? Sure. Now that I'm a film composer, oh. um, there's a lot of filmmakers that I'd really like to work with. Tell. Um, well, I'd love to work with Jim Jarmusch, and I'd love to work with Mira Nair, um, and, uh, and, of course, naturally, some of the, the great, uh, you know, epic composers, but, uh, and I'd love to work with John Williams, um, but, uh, but I'm, I'm really eager, it, it's, it's such a wonderful wide world of exploration and experimentation in film, and I'm, um, it's really fun. From your lips to God's ears. Yes, amen. May it be.